Let's go ahead and compare the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So these are the best and the biggest phones of their respective lineups. They're both 5G phones. Their release is around the same. Um, the iPhone was in September 2023. The Pixel was in October 2022. So uh, around a year apart. Um, they have pretty much the same weight, uh, kind of heavy phones iPhone at 7.8 ounces versus seven and a half ounces for the Pixel. And they both have great build quality for the connectivity. They both have eSIM technology. Uh, in the US, the iPhone only has eSIM, while the Pixel has both physical nano SIM and eSIM. So obviously the better one if you're if you care about connectivity and swapping out SIM cards and all that stuff, the Pixel wins in that regard. As for dust and water resistance, the iPhone is IP68. You can dunk it in water up to six meters for 30 minutes, while the Pixel is also IP68, but only for uh, 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. So for the display, both have really, really good displays. Um, 120 hertz refresh rate on both of these. Um, but the nits, you get 2000 uh, nits of brightness compared to the 1500 nits of peak brightness on the Pixel. So you're gonna have a brighter display on the iPhone. Size wise, now these are pretty big phones, 6.7 inches exactly for both of these. You get 89.8% screen to body ratio on the iPhone versus 88.7 on the Pixel. For the resolution, you're getting 460 PPI on the iPhone versus the higher 512 PPI on the Pixel. And both of these have always on display. As for price, both of these devices are the most expensive phones in Android and in um, Apple iPhones. The iPhone 15 Pro comes in at a new starting price of $1,200, uh, up 100 from the previous model, while the Pixel 7 Pro comes in with a price of $900. Now, those are brand new prices, but as of fall 2023, you could find the Pixel at around a little bit over $400 used, so keep that in mind.